In this video, I am going to tell you relationship between the radius r of helix, the p pitch, the length l, and the distance of the curved path, which would be denoted by d. Here, r denotes radius of helix, d denotes length of curved path, p denotes pitch of helix, and l denotes the length of helix. Now, for proving this formula, we would use the concept of motion of charged particles in magnetic field so when the charged particles are in magnetic field of b and it has velocity v uh, making angle theta with b so it would have two components v cos theta and one component would be v sin theta so due to v sin theta it does the circular motion of radius r equal to the radius of helix with velocity v sin theta and with the circular motion it does the translation motion um, till length l as in case of this helix with velocity v cos theta so one circular motion and translation motion makes a helix so we uh, we would take now t as time period the time period for completing the circle by the particle and uh, we would take uh, with this we would take t as the time taken for whole motion so as the particle does hel helical motion the time of the whole motion would be t so uh, we would take uh, n t the n times time period equal to t here n could be any number fractional or whole so from here we get n equals uh, t by so which could be written as as t could be written as l by v cos theta and 1 by t could be written as v cos theta by uh, p it would be p so as the in one time period with velocity v cos theta it covers one pitch so time period would be v cos theta by p from here v cos theta cancel and we get n equals l by p so now we come to derive our formula uh, as uh, the distance the whole distance would be equal to the velocity of particle into time for whole motion uh, by squaring both sides and uh, by multiplying it by sine squared theta plus cos squared theta this won't change the equation as it is equals to 1 uh, by taking this square here and uh, opening this bracket we would get d equals under root of v t sin theta whole square plus b t cos theta whole square so as we know here i would write v cos theta speed equals distance upon time okay so we could replace v t cos theta by l so here v t cos theta would have value of l and uh, here we would write t as nt as discussed previously so we would write here v n t sin theta whole square plus l square so if we take v and t sin theta 
सो वी टी साइन थीटा वुड इक्वल टू टू पाई आर बिकॉज इट इज टेकिंग वन टाइम पीरियड विद वेलोसिटी साइन थीटा टू कवर टू पाई आर सो वी वुड राइट हेयर वी साइन थीटा इक्वल्स द डिस्टेंस वुड बी टू पाई आर अपॉन द टाइम वुड बी वन टाइम पीरियड सो वी साइन थीटा इन टू टाइम पीरियड कुड बी रिप्लेस बाई टू पाई आर सो वी वुड राइट दिस एज बी इक्वल्स टू पाई आर एर आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ हिलिक्स आर एंड इन टू एन होल स्क्वेर प्लस एल स्क्वेर सो एंड वी वुड रिप्लेस द वैल्यू ऑफ एन बाय एल बाय पी एज वी हैव प्रूव अर्लियर एन इक्वल्स एल बाय पी सो इफ यू राइट इट एज डी इक्वल्स एल स्क्वेर बाय पी स्क्वेर इंटू टू पाय आर स्क्वेर एंड इफ यू मल्टीप्लाय इट एंड डिवाइडेड बाय पी स्क्वेर वी गेट पी स्क्वेर एल स्क्वेर बाय पी स्क्वेर so if we take l square p square l square p square common out of this under root we get l by p d equals l by p under root l by p is common 2 pi r whole square plus we there p is remaining so we write p square so here we have the relation where we got r we got t and we got l and by putting these value we can get d the distance of the helix so this is the formula thank you